Here's an interesting case, and we're doing this quite regularly at the University of Michigan. We have virgin canines that are going to get a partial denture, but we want to have a rest seat on this partial. How are we going to do, go ahead and do this? In the past, what we would do is we would bond a composite rest seat on there and then grind in the, the, the shape of that rest seat and make sure that it had the right guide planes. We take an impression, put it on a surveyor, check to see that it, it drew so that the impartial could fit correctly. Here's what we do now. On a study model, we actually wax up exactly the way we want that rest seat to look like. We can then put it on a surveyor and make sure that if we want to have a guide plane in here, we can make it that way. We can make contour this exactly the way we want it. We then go ahead and take an impression on the study model. You need no separator. This is an impression material, and it's a small impression of that tooth, and we did it on the other canine also. Then you take your composite and you pack composite into the area where the wax is. And it's good to look at the study model to see how much wax you had to make that rest seat. We then take a, a comparable amount of composite and pack it with pressure into that area of the impression. We then seat that with pressure, hold it with pressure while we light cure through it. And here's our rest seat. And we can make sure, uh, we don't have to then go ahead and check the contours, check the draw. If we needed a guide plane in that area, we don't need to check it because it's already been, you know, reproduced from the impression that we took. Now we've been doing this for about six or eight years, and I've never found one that has failed. That doesn't say it's going to last forever, but this is an easy way to take a virgin canine and instead of doing some sort of crown or inlay for a rest seat, to actually bond on a rest seat that perfectly fits your, your partial denture.